Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Monster Train. Let's play another random run. Uh, we definitely have to get some victories, specific victories at some point, but this is still fun. Go ahead, game, give me the, the queen. No, it is Melting Exile, Stygian Exile. So, I mean, let's just take a look. Have we done this run before? I'm not gonna restart it, but let's just see if we've done it before. Melting Stygian. We have done this before with the Exile Champion. So this is gonna be a, a repeat, but we'll do it anyways. Seraph the Digilent, consume, purifying cleanse, mollusk mage, and engulfed in smoke. Engulfed in smoke, I mean, if you can double stack it or hold, hold it over or make it cheaper, that's a pretty good option. And getting a lot of artifacts early is also nice. When a friendly unit dies, apply plus 10 to that unit. With a card with consume is played, restore five pyre health. Well, that'll be good on Seraph, but I think we just want to buff units when they die. When you play your third card, draw. Friendly, friendly units gain rage three whenever they lose a stack of burnout or playing a spell deals damage. I think you just want draw. It's essentially a boss relic, just kind of delayed. And then, Little Icarus or Firelight. Extinguish, apply plus five, plus five, and burn out two to friendly units. Spikes one, slay, gain plus two attack, and spikes two permanently. I know that, I know that Little Icarus can be good, but I think I just much prefer Firelight. Then again, we don't really want to keep our units alive with Resin Block. We want them to die over and over again. Do we really care about, you know, Little Icarus in that fashion? We don't really have any units to bring back is a, a big, big problem. But, uh, you know, in theory, we'll get some. We can keep units alive and give them burnout if we want. It's a tough choice. It's a tough choice. I haven't really used Little Icarus all that much. And you know what? Considering we have done the victory, maybe we'll try Little Icarus and see what kind of a run we can build there. Because Melting Remnant, Little Fade, Covenant Rank 25, Stygian Secondary, we've done it before. Let's take Little Icarus and see what we, what we can do here. Bong, 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 bong. Also, OG Kushmir, you have a good night as well. 0020, have a good night, etc., etc. So yeah, let's um, let's see what we what we get here. Let's see how this works. Spikes one. You know what I just realized? This is actually not that good, because how the heck are we going to kill units that have five HP? Normally, if this guy had one HP, he's an, he's an easy kill. But if he has five, how am I how am I going to kill him? I can't, I can't kill him. <laughs> Not even close. Uh, I guess we'll just ice you and then get you closer to death. I think these units are gonna hit the pyre. Spikes one. Uh, you need to have more than just spikes one. If you attack though, you'll get a kill and the pyre is gonna take a, a billion points of damage. Uh, but if we do this, oh God. If we do this... Oh, I don't have the energy to engulf in smoke! Wow, I think we're actually gonna die right now. <laughs> Hold on, maybe we can get some kills with Little Fade? I can get one. All right, we're, we're, I think we're, act we're actually dead. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Didn't even make it through the first combat, but I mean, I I don't like that version of our little fade. It it, it was also very uh, annoying. I didn't realize it until it happened. But yeah, killing an enemy that has one health is normally how you get little fade started. But if they s stop having one health, what are you gonna do? How are you gonna buff them? So let's just do a uh, a new run. You're not. Oh, I guess we're gonna just do another random run. <laughs> So how are, how are you gonna buff Little Fade if they can't even get a kill? Anyways, now we're Umbra Wormkin. Umbra Wormkin, have we done this before? It's Umbra Wormkin Exile. We have not done Umbra Wormkin Exile, so at least this is gonna be a new run. Packed Morsels, Bound Echoes, apply infused to cards in hand is very good. Consume minus capacity plus energy, and Seraph the Patient. So if we can get Damage Shield 
minion, that would be very good for us. And we have the same opportunity of taking divine hordes if we want it. Steward units get plus five, plus five damage shield multi-strike, or at the start of battle, add two capacity to each floor. Oh, right, we're Primordium too. Dude, with, um, with damage shield train stewards, Primordium could actually be very good early with the multi-strike. So I actually feel like advanced prototype is what you take here, just to give you a nice little buff early. Consume, have a 50% chance of being discarded. Increase max capacity by one. Nah, I think you just go spells with the extra upgrade slot, and then maybe we can make some good spells in the future. Add status effects. That's not too bad. I don't really know how to apply status effects to you, but at least we can make a unit very tanky. I much prefer the offensive version of the champion though, because you tend to want more offense than defense. This is fine, especially in the, uh, the later Covenant ranks. You need to be able to kill quickly. And especially when you're as Umbra, you know, if you have 10 turns of 10 turns of damage shield, well, you want to do as much damage as you can in those 10 turns, don't ya? Also, I for completely forgot about Plinks, so this is a, a very nice card for us to have. We're gonna give you Lifesteal, then that's gonna, that Lifesteal Morsel is gonna go away. Should have probably played Bounding Echoes, just, uh, just to mention it. But, these guys are all dying. I, I almost can't believe it, but I can actually get a kill with a morsel here if I do it like this. And that train steward is already a 1523 train steward with multi-strike. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, I guess we're just gonna put down a train steward. You're dying, which is unfortunate. I was kind of hoping you would live, but that's okay. We'll give you plus six plus six. Um, and honestly, we'll get more energy and then just dump these morsels. Somehow getting them back with like, Endless or something would be nice, but this is the wrong Covenant rank for that. <laughs> Apply infused cards in hand. You know what? Playing that and then infusing the morsels is how you can really get a lot of infusion, but I guess you do have to have capacity to play the morsels, so maybe it's really not as big of a benefit as I thought. Uh, so we really do need some train stewards to show up. We're gonna give a train steward attack and damage shield. You can just block shots and we can kill another morsel here. <laughs> and then we'll uh, ice you, I guess. We'd finally lost our champion, which is what, I, what we wanted to begin with. Uh, and then train steward. You're living and you're doing a lot of damage. You're almost getting the kill. <laughs> you love to see it. So, I mean, the deck is very good at killing enemy units and buffing our champions. That does seem to be the case. You're gonna live with one HP. The morsels almost killed you. And hopefully we can just keep buffing up these train stewards and getting more units that we want to play. So, damage shield to play it on the champion is lovely because status effects will be applied. So I think we'll take Prismal Dust. It's also just good to have to keep a unit alive. Proclamation is good for dealing damage, applying armor, whatever, dealing damage, moving unit back. Is actually very good for reordering combat. And I, I've, I've learned to appreciate hosting kin more as I play with the Exile Wormkin champion that can bring back consume cards. Getting one of these every turn is beautiful to be able to push a tank to the back and say, I don't have to kill you now. I don't have to do 150 damage on this turn. You're just dead. It's very good. Quick damage shield plus 25. Shadow Eater, Morsel Maker. Resolve plus six plus six, Gorge restore 10 health. Um, I mean, Morsel Maker is very good, and it, it does have a nice trigger if you put it in something, but right now I need something that can kill units on a floor, especially the bottom floor. I think Shadow Eater is what we want. It's not good, 
But even, you know, putting this in another unit in the future to give it uh, healing could be interesting. So, I don't want quick, but what I will do is give you even more health. And I gotta admit, multi-strike on like another train steward could be okay, but I think it's too expensive. You know, I'd rather have the train stewards be disposable. So I do feel like maybe just giving it plus five, plus 10. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give him multi-strike. If we get him early, put him on a floor, buff him, keep him alive. He's a good damage dealer. Spikes three. Uh, I don't really care. We we can kill these units with the planks, and you know if they have five HP, they won't die. But most of them are gonna die in one plank. It's not a very good start for us. But I actually do like putting Primordium on the bottom to kill all units. Should have probably played this. Um, we'll probably crap on this floor a little bit. But I mean, right now, these units are gonna die every turn, which seems good to me. Now you're gaining seven HP. I can give you even more HP if I want, and I'm gonna. Now, apply Infuse, and then we're gonna put, I have to put the Train Steward here in order to get the kill, so that's what we're gonna do. No, I could just play Echo Break to get the kill on you. <laughs> then, we'll put the Train Steward up here, get him gorging. We don't need this much, you know what? I do want this energy, because we're probably gonna get Damage Shield. Next turn, whatever. Just, I guess, play you guys. Have fun up there. Uh, play another train steward. These train stewards are doing pretty decent damage. Now you're a sweeper. Uh, I can't really put a unit down here that can live. Beautiful. But I'm pretty sure I can still kill you. Pretty, like, standard fight. Putting the Primordium on this guy, the Shadow Eater, is not really what I want, but for now it works until we get better units. A Morsel Miner is a great morsel to have. Mortal Trade is also very good to keep units alive um, if you can freeze it. But I, 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 think I, I think I like making of a morsel because it's a plus six, plus six morsel every turn. But you know what? Now that I look at this, I think we have enough morsel generation. We have the champion, two packed morsels, planks. I think a, a, something else seems appropriate. I guess we'll take another echo infusion. Well, an echo infusion, and we'll just keep buffing the health of units. Wormkin units. It's not really a wormkin deck. Would I rather have an artifact or unit upgrades? I mean, we do still want to keep upgrading the train stewards, I suppose. But the artifact could like completely change the run. I think we'll go for a unit, because we have a divine temple here. Intrinsic. An intrinsic prismal dust is not that bad. And you want to know why? because we can put damage shield in the champion, which goes to other units. When he gets gorged. Could also spell chain Prismal Dust, and then maybe give it like lower energy so that you can actually play it multiple times. Could spell chain packed morsels and then get a lot of morsels. Could spell chain hosting kin and get a second one of these, or echo infusion and then just build up HP on a unit. Actually, echo infusion on primordium does seem pretty good. So maybe a spell chain. Well, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spend all of my pack shards as early. Let's let's go for units. I'm just I'm thinking about things. We don't need to think right now. Well, endless is good. Let's see what we get. Summon plus ten plus ten etch plus five. First of kin. Well, it's expensive. I like kin host because it's real small. But 
Also annoying. If we make him endless, we can go capacity and then keep replaying him, but... We have so many things to play on so many floors that I don't think this is the, the unit that we want. First of kin, you know, we can we do confu uh, confuse, we do consume a few cards. I think he's just too expensive. Etch plus five and summon plus 10 plus 10. I think I'll take you just for, just to have you, I suppose. I don't love this though. Probably just make you super tanky. Then reroll. Large stone. I mean, a large stone train steward is pretty good. Check out the hell vent. See what we get. Upgrading it with plus 25 health. We don't want to make units heartless. Uh, I think we'll. I think we'll just put this on Shadow Eater. Having a unit that can, you know, kill entire floors on his own, act as a sweep, that's pretty decent. I could also, I could also put a train steward in a train steward. <laughs> Doesn't really seem appropriate, but in theory I could do it. I think I'm just gonna skip though. Because, um, like, spell chain is interesting on extract plus 10 health, you could put that on your champion, but we have a bit of a damage problem for the future. I'd rather save my capacity for packed shards after the next combat when I can get maybe one or two more units. And then we'll think about what we're gonna do. We should probably start upgrading spells though because we do have lightstone casing. So I think we're just gonna do the same thing that we did before, we're just gonna do it down here. I don't have to play Primordium down here though, I could play Primordium on another floor, but I just, I, I like the idea of him getting even tankier. And, like this is a strange one, but I guess you just play nothing. <laughs> we have not gotten any good Umber Gorge units. That's, it's very unfortunate. So Prismal Dust would apply, but I feel like we can, you know, get a little bit better here. You are gonna kill a morsel, oh no. It's just, I don't know, do that, do that, do that. We'll kill that morsel, I guess. Didn't get any train stewards. I guess this is, oh my god. I guess this is the problem with train stewards. If you don't get them, you're not gonna get them, you know? Like, we are not getting the train stewards because they're not banner units. So right now, they're, <laughs> I just I don't have anything to play. What if I buff the health of a morsel? <laughs> so that it lives. Minus one capacity, plus one energy. We might go capacity to make this playable, but right now it's not playable. Yeah, cause like right now I, I just can't do anything. I don't have, like these guys have too much health for spells. Okay, I got a train steward, I can get a kill. Like that just took forever, you know? Feel like I'm, I'm doing something wrong. Deal 13 damage a unit and move it to the back. No, okay, we gotta, we gotta start here. You need to eat. You are getting some kills. This will prevent you from hitting the pyre once. Packed morsels. I don't think I can kill these units, so I do have a lot of energy on this turn though. You should probably get lifesteal. You should probably get more attack. You should do some damage. I have to do five damage to you and then 13 damage to you. Can't kill you. You do 12 damage, yeah, can't kill you. Might as well give you a little bit of damage shield. You do have a lot of health, I will give you that. And as such, more damage seems appropriate. You're doing 587 damage on your own. That's pretty good. This is our large stone steward. You know, I'll just put you there, I guess. I put the wrong train steward down. Not like it's gonna matter.
But like, what the heck are we gonna do? I really need this next unit to be like, amazing. <laughs> okay, Wretch I like because you can bring back your champion. Keeper of Echoes, Inspire, plus one, plus one to friendly units. I like that. Sweep, Etch, Apply Reap 2 to enemy units. Infuse, Resolve, Morsel Master. Inspire, plus one, plus one, plus five, and Etch, Apply Reap 2 to enemy units. So you get the same bonus. Reap 2 to enemy units on an Etch. That's, that's nice, but we already have like a sweeper. We don't need another sweeper. Summoning Morsels every turn would actually be nice with our champion. Or not our champion, but our, our bottom four minion. So I, I can appreciate this. I mean, maybe that's enough of a reason to take it, and you know, it's another way of just getting morsels down there. And if we take this, we'll probably take capacity. It's also infused. So yeah, we need more capacity to play more morsels and units. And then here, I think we just go for more units and spell upgrades. It's Morsel Made. Okay, well, you take Morsel Made. <laughs> and now you have a way of, of gorging on these Morsels, which is beautiful. So, Damage Shield, which will get applied to the Eater, or more attack. Plus 10, plus 10, or Damage Shield. I think I like the damage raw. I know that you can get a lot of damage shield on a unit, but if we're putting, so if we're putting Primordium on our tank, he has enough HP, he doesn't need damage shield and he heals himself. If we put Primordium on Morsel Maid, then we want him to get stronger as quickly as possible, which means the damage, because he's gonna also gain uh, health as well. Damage shield helps, but I think we want aggressive edible on this one. It's tough, but also giving him damage shield keeps him alive a little bit longer. I'm gonna go for the stats. Now, holdover. A holdover wretch is amazing with morsel made, so that's what we're gonna take. <laughs> All right, that's absurd. Uh, okay, so now do we wanna put, put units in units? Hunger, feed on units with Eaton. So we could put Morsel Maid on... Feed on units with Eaton. We could put Morsel Maid onto Shadow Eater, but I like Morsel Maid because he can grow in strength permanently throughout a fight. I, I like that capability of him. So I think we're not gonna meld units. I think instead we're just going to maybe get spells. Upgrade a unit with... Or, Oh my god, Holdover Spell Chain Wretch. What? <laughs> See, now, now I'm like really tempted. Oh, this Morsel Maid is going to be insane. Now we just need to like thin out the deck a little bit. I I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything with pack shards. Cause every Morsel can just go into the Morsel Maid. Every Morsel with Wretch over and over and over again. We can bring back the champion multiple times in the same turn. This is like, I know Shadow Eater is good, but like it's, we got Morsel Made on turn one. <sighs> I need one more energy now. We have to get energy after this. Oh man, this is so like tempting. <laughs> So I really want Morsel made Primordium and then get that buff every turn, but like we... I think on this fight we'll do it like this. Next fight, we'll put him out there. Okay, now you're at least getting some kills. Uh, we've got a trained steward we can toss out there. We're not gonna be able to kill you though, which is very unfortunate. Might as well give you another one of those. And you're probably gonna do one damage to the Pyre, which is like, whatever. Plink, bad Plink. Morsel Maker. Good time for a Morsel Maker to come out, I think. Keeps you busy. 
Still not doing enough damage to kill units though, which is unfortunate. Uh, you're also gonna like completely make it to the pyre. So let's try to slow you down. We're gonna take some damage, but now that we have Morsel made, we can kind of work on getting him out. It's just gonna be awkward until we get to that point. So, uh, I guess we're just gonna bring back all of our Morsels. <laughs> so, this'll be interesting. And then, we will give you as much damage as possible. You will tank a hit, you will hit, and you will hit. I hope we live, I, I, I hope our Pyre lives, because this is a fun run, and I want to see where this goes, but it's definitely scary to start with. Okay, we're not taking any more Pyre damage, beautiful. Um, whatever, just consume that. Wretch, there, there's no reason for it. I mean, our, our Shadow Eater is a 48, 173. He's at full health killing all these minions, which is like really nice. We did get kind of bad luck getting both of those uh, two energy units on the same turn, but I did feel like it was more important to get the, the sweeper out. Infuse, consume, draw a unit and apply plus X and minus X energy. I don't like Prism Retrieval, I think it's actually trash. Ember Cache is too slow. I could see this with um, some of the Wormkin stuff. You add these to your discard pile, you bring them back into your hand, you play them, you get energy and card draw on the same turn. And you could maybe go infinite with an Ember Cache, which could be interesting. But uh, I think out of all this, we probably just wanna skip, because I, I don't see these really being super beneficial. Bring, 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 bring. Draw three and apply consume to drawn spells. So you might draw units with this. But it's free and it can get you, get you through the deck faster. So, I'll take it. Anything, anything that's free, I'll be a little bit more interested in. Duplication. Hmm. Gorge restore 10 health. I'm trying to think of if we can put units in units. Hunger feed on units with Eaten would actually work pretty well on the Shadow Eater. We can just put morsels down there to do damage to all enemy units on the floor. So that might be a good duplication target. And then we can do the meld immediately. We won't be able to upgrade anything, but, you know, here's hoping for the best, I guess. Uh, as for cards to remove, we don't really need Echo Breaks. Really, the uh, the plinks are better when you upgrade them. These cards are kind of trash. So let's let's dupe Morsel Maid and put him in the Shadow Eater. It's expensive, but we can make it pretty cheap if we actually start upgrading our spells. Upgrade a spell to cost negative two. Do we want to upgrade any of these? Well, Steel Pulley Claw being free is good, but it's uh, not what we want. Okay, Infused Holdover Spell Chain Intrinsic Wretch. <laughs> we're, going, we're going deep, dude. We're going real deep. We're at 65 Pact Shards, fighting boss number five. Store all health when they move up a floor. No! Does Hallowed Hall revive endless units? Nope, it does not. So, so this is potentially perfect. Watch this. Shadow Eater. Primordium. Triggered the eating. Then, Morsel. Triggers the eating. Morsel. Triggers the eating. Morsel triggers the eating. Um, we can just, no, don't play the train steward because we're gonna retch, play primordium, play a morsel, play a morsel, play a morsel, 
We're gonna retch again. Primordium. Morsel. Morsel, Morsel. So, we every turn, for one energy, we can play our champion and gorge him on whatever unit we draw every turn. Maybe this is the only unit we need in our entire deck now that I think about it, because this is, this is stupid. This is unbelievably stupid. And, and in fact, I'm like, dude, if I remove my other units and only draw this guy every turn, we might be able to get strong enough to kill every enemy on every fight on floor one for the rest of the run right now. That's absurd and dumb and I love it. Anyways, let's keep drawing spells. No, I don't want to fill up my hand. I have four morsels. Let's make sure we have the capacity for the morsels and start eating them. I guess we need to have five card capacity so that we get the wretch back on the same turn. Or if we can get more morsels, you know, why, why not? Okay, these cards are now consume. They don't get better, they just get consume, which is not the best, but I'm just gonna put you up there. You're gonna keep gorging. He does a lot of damage, he has a lot of health. This guy's getting quite strong. And now it would be really funny if we gave him uh, the damage shield champion, because he would stack up damage shield insanely quickly. <laughs> But, I mean, as is, we know what we're doing. We're just going to play our champion. Keep playing some morsels. I wish we got better morsels, like attacking morsels would be nice. I mean, he's a, he's a 250, 400 unit already. He, he got all the kills. <laughs> I don't know, let's infuse on that floor. All right, next. There's the, there's a morsel made. Dude, you, I think we should gorge on this guy. You wanna know why? Because he gets permanently stronger. And if we get multi-strike, we can give it to him. But like, wouldn't I rather give multi-strike to the Shadow Eater? No, I can't. He's already at max capacity. All right, good point. Good point, Brain. So you know what, let's, um, let's play the morsel made. We'll infuse all these cards too. Um, and then we'll start gorging this guy. You know, I I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you enough gorging so that you can get some kills. That's enough, because we're gonna gorge uh, the morsel made enough that he's gonna be able to kill the tank. But I mean every turn. We get all of our morsels back every turn. As long as I don't create more morsels, this will work, because I need to have enough card space in hand for the morsels and for the wretch. So right now we have seven morsels. If if I if this was the, the first wretch, then we would have to have eight card slots in hand after you play the card. But as long as you have enough capacity, <laughs> you can do this. I just need Trample. Trample would completely negate the need for like a Morsel Maid or the Shadow Eater, because then we could just kill all the units. So if we get the Trample book, we have to take it. But like, as is, everything, everything is beautiful. Also like, weirdly enough, Reap would be nice now, because we inflict, we apply so much infusion with the Morsels, <laughs> we can get some good stuff out of that. So, we need seven free slots in hand. We have three cards, that means we have seven free slots in hand. Because the, the eighth card slot is for Wretch to come back. <laughs> Holdover spell chain intrinsic, man. <laughs> With the champion, it's freaking beautiful. 
So again, like I'm doing this specifically to buff this guy as much as possible while we're, we're in a winning position. And in the future, I, I don't know if I'm gonna keep him, but at least so far he does seem to be a pretty decent unit. I don't have to have him on the same floor as Shadow Eater either. I could just have two floors with two units and then just gorge them both. Like a 300-300 is, is good enough, you know what I mean? So, we have enough slots. Seven plus three is 10. As long as I, as I keep that as like in my head, if you have seven plus three. Oh no, when I play the champion first, I get Ember Train. Okay, so we gotta be very careful about that. At least our wretch is free though. <laughs> that makes sense, that makes sense. Get rid of Morsel Maker. I mean, that's very true. We don't need Morsel Maker anymore. There's a lot we can get rid of right now. In fact, if I could get rid of every card in the deck, except for Shadow Eater and my champion, I might do it. We don't need Feasts, <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you that straight up. Ember Forge, we don't need it. This is a skip. Uh, this is a skip. If it's not the Book of Trample, it's literally a card I do not want in the deck, and I'm gonna remove every other card in the deck. So, I'm, I'm just going straight for removal. The train stewards can also be removed, but let's start with the, uh, the echo breaks, I guess, because the train stewards, at least we can put them on a floor we're not using. Remove consume. Why? Plus 10 magic power. I'll, I'll upgrade plinks. I don't mind upgrading plinks. Actually, I do, because I don't want the plinks. I don't want anything. You know, I, I do need a way of creating morsels, so we will upgrade the planks. Uh, let's make Steel Polyclaw cheaper. Permafrost. We literally don't need to permafrost anything either because we know exactly what we're drawing early. So we'll just keep upgrading planks. I'll, I'll go ahead and make this free so we can just kind of kill a unit if we need it. And then we're just gonna purge cards. Plus one capacity, plus three capacity, plus 15 magic power. We cannot lower capacity because we need six capacity to play the champion on the same floor as the Shadow Eater if we draw the champion on turn one. I think what we want is maybe just like random plus one capacity on each floor. Because then we have more room to play more morsels, I suppose. But yeah, the magic power would be nice for all of the plinks, but we cannot lower our, our capacity. Unless we think we can defeat the next boss, which is likely, and then take another capacity bonus. But we're gonna take energy after this. So yeah, I think we're just gonna go plus one capacity. Just because it's it's something to take. Um, uh, and then do we want an artifact? Not really. But like I don't I don't want anything. So maybe we should take an artifact just to improve our our shard, you know, our shard pack points. Cause what 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 do we need at this point? Another shadow eater? No. Another Morsel Maid? No, we just want to buff this guy with like more uh, multi-strike. I mean... What do we have? Divine Temple, Divine Horde? Dude, I think we're just gonna go for an artifact. Champion gains plus 50% attack. Draw cards until you have 10. I don't want to fill up my hand on turn one. I, I think we just give our champion attack, because every time we play him, he's gonna gain plus 50% attack. So is that, does this make a broken champion? Every time I play him, he gets stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. Because if so, that is beautiful. Okay, what are you? Days units. If we, if we play Primordium and Shadow Eater, they're gonna get dazed forever because the buffs are gonna transfer from Primordium to Shadow Eater. This is why, by the way, I actually don't really like this version of Primordium of uh, transferring the status effects. Like, let, let's let's take a, a quick little moment because I'm I'm curious. 
Right. This is it's the only form that applies status effects. And it's horrible because of the fact that it applies Ember Drain, Sap, Daze. These are all very melee weakness also. These are very annoying. I like aggressive edible because the only thing it does is it makes you strong. It makes you attack hard. Stalwart snack, I guess I've just never used because I don't care about buffet 10. I don't want this guy to live forever. I want him to die out and, and give him room for other other morsels, but yeah, it's not my favorite. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on like the second floor. The, the fact that that didn't kill is very annoying, but we can still wretch and keep it for next turn. All right, uh, and Morsel made we can we can put him down here and then gorge him too. I don't see a problem in that. Uh, can't play Kinhos. That's fine. Don't want to draw three. We just want to. Oh, we don't have any any morsels to wretch yet. We just need to get one morsel. <laughs> so you know what? Uh, can't extract. We're going to try to draw some morsels. We did not draw any morsels. Send a unit to the pyre and apply days three. Sure. Apply damage shield one. Sure. And then uh, wretch. This this is the hard part. Trying to get like the first morsel. This is what I want. Pack morsels. Now we're okay. So we will. Now it says summon non-morsel units. I, I think that includes the champion. So we're gonna play the champion down here. We will play the train steward and the train steward up here. We will just play morsels down here. I need to play morsels to make sure that this guy is, is dying. So we just gotta play him. Then we will wretch. I think this would daze the champion, and because status effects transfer, I'm not even, I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to play the champion down here. Now you're living, which is decent. How come your damage is so bad? Oh, you don't get permanent bonuses. I thought he got permanent bonuses. So you know what? It might actually be nice just to remove this unit. I should not I should not have duplicated him. For some reason, I thought this was a, a permanent bonus unit who got stronger every single time he uh, he gorged. That is not the case. He's just a unit, so he's not important at all. So I'm just gonna keep buffing this guy. But again, just be careful that you are not uh, applying days to your uh, your dude. go. Having another unit that's strong is is okay, but not not what we wanted. Not what we wanted. Okay, wretch. Primordium. I guess I was thinking of the Overgorger. I, like, I, we keep seeing the Shadow Eater. He's right here. In my head, I guess I was like, oh, he gets stronger every turn, but not this guy, it's the other one. Ah, you mean Morsel Maid, my, my other unit? Nope. Stupid brain. You're killing in one hit, that's actually lovely. Oop, a little bit of a hiccup there. <laughs> hiccup there in the, in the soundtrack. Okay. I can play all these cards. So we're gonna start with Confusion. Plink could give me another morsel. Are we okay getting a sixth morsel? I'd rather not, but I'll try it. Didn't get it, that's fine. Okay, you're dying. You're not killing this unit, so let's get you gorging. Good stuff. 
You're killing him in one hit, no reason to play you there. Need an intrinsic packed morsels. That is actually a very good point. If we could make that intrinsic, we would get the morsels on turn one. Because we get the champion on turn one, but we really do need to get some additional morsels. If anything, you know, that's an indication that maybe we should start on not the bottom floor. Maybe we should start Shadow Eater on the second floor. Because if we start him on the second floor, then we don't have to worry. Don't play that there. We don't have to worry about whether or not we have the capacity. Because of the, the Rail Forger's Hammer. We'll have the capacity to play everything, we won't get dazed, and we'll have time to draw some morsels. So that's, that's you know, the, the current running theory, I think. Okay, that's spells, we can totally play that. I think, why did I get energy? Oh, I got energy because of the energy morsel. Oh, beautiful. I think we're gonna do 400 damage to this guy on this turn. But yeah, I, like, working around the status effect gorge from Primordium is very annoying. <laughs> And we don't want to go. We don't want to create any more morsels than this, because we need to keep the morsel count at a manageable level that we can get those morsels out every single turn. So six morsels is plenty. Oh, we got another wretch. <laughs> so with six, I need to get rid of a card. Now I can play a wretch. And yeah, now that I now that I realize that this guy doesn't really matter, I'm not even going to worry about him. Because it doesn't matter if he gets any gorges. He's not a permanent gorger. Okay, six. I have capacity. I guess we could have played that um, with one more card in hand. Because we didn't get the wretch because it was the purge version. I feel like I've done this same strategy multiple times recently with the Morsel Maid, but it's a good strategy. I mean, you can make a 500-500 unit on turn like six of a combat. I don't know if that's enough though, because we actually would like to, um, to do more damage on, on like big boss fights. So we're gonna have to work on that. So six, I need to get rid of one unit. You could just put like a train steward in front of you. I could put two train stewards in front of you if you, you know, really wanted the, the capacity. And then honestly, well, all right, see you later. <laughs> you know what, like, just end turn. Yeah, I can probably just click on end fight. I would hate to do this combination if I was running uh, like Hell Rush and you had like four minutes on a fight. I mean, it takes that long just to wait for the morsels to get fed until you can dump more morsels in there. So this, none of this matters. We want energy to play two minions on the first turn. It's not that big of a deal, but like what else are we gonna take, draw? Draw is nice to get to the morsel generators faster, but eventually we're gonna run out of hand space to get the morsels back. I think I'd prefer to just have the energy. And then if we can, you know, if we can get one of those things to be intrinsic, that'd be beautiful. So card removal is nice. We don't need Merchant of Magic for anything. Our, our, spell, our spells don't matter. So the only thing we wanna do is, is upgrade units and remove cards. I think we're just gonna keep removing, I mean, we can probably remove some train stewards at this point, but I think we'll just keep removing like the echo break. We don't need bounding echoes at all. We're not playing with infusion. Is there an intrinsic? There's a spell chain, but that's not what we're looking for. Spell chain, steel pulley claw is interesting, but like we do enough damage, this is not what we want. So we'll wait on that. Uh, there is gonna be, oh, there's not gonna be any more opportunities for divine temples, which is unfortunate. 
more damage or damage shield. We could give a lot of damage shield to units, but health doesn't matter. I think we'd much prefer to just give damage. That being said, Superfood would keep our unit alive longer until we can get the infinite combo, but I think we want damage because the, the big units are gonna be hard to kill. Also, I did not pay attention to the Mark of Champion at all. I don't know if it actually works. <laughs> I do not know if it actually works, but we'll see. So, Merchant of Steel, quick, doesn't matter. 25 HP, doesn't matter. I mean, we could buff Morsel Maid to get like another Morsel guy out there, but we should probably just pay to purge. Press the button to build a card. Well, we can we can see what card it is. Armor, Frostbite, Sap. Give me a... Give me a Sap. Might as well damage. And then... Descend. Apply sap three, deal 30 damage to send the unit. Do nothing. I don't want the card. <laughs> Armor on champ. Armor I don't think transfers because it's not a status effect. Maybe it is a status effect. It's not a buff or a debuff. What is a status effect? Can be applied to units to adjust their stats and abilities. Maybe it is, maybe armor is a status effect. It doesn't matter. Um, well, when, why does armor matter when we have five million health? So I think here we're just gonna keep purging cards. Uh, we do not need Ginhost. We do not need Morsel Maker. So at least now we're guaranteed one of those two units. Uh, I think we will purge another card and, I don't know, probably at this point get rid of like a Train Steward. The only thing that I really care about is card removal at this point. Uh, magic Power and Piercing, Spell Chain, or m unit melding. Hunger feed plus 10 attack. I could put Morsel Maid in a train steward and then we'd get Shadow Eater at the at the beginning of combat guaranteed. Dude, hunger on a, on a triple multi-strike train steward seems pretty interesting. That'll give me enough damage to kill units that make it up. I'm gonna freaking do it. You're gonna die so that this train steward can live. <laughs> I'm gonna buff a train steward. There you go. All right, we're at 105 pack shards. Don't need any more. Spell shield two. Sure. What do I care? Oh no, I can't get morsels early, but I you know, can't really do that anyways because you have you know, a decent amount of health. So, are we gonna start at the bottom? No, I think we're gonna start on the middle here. You, you, get that next turn. Don't need that one. Train steward, you're the large stone steward. I can put you down here. And then I can even get more energy. Probably play that one up here though. We have a lot of capacity. All right, one more. Hey, hey beautiful. There's some, there's a morsel. <laughs> so there's the morsel made steward. We also have a steel pulley claw. For free. But we'll start here. I think we will draw cards. Because if we draw morsel cards, we can play more morsels. Also, my champion is at 30. So this does not apply multiple times to the damage, but to the attack bonus of the champion, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. You get a plink, apply infuse, deal damage and move a unit back. Just do that. That's not doing anything. I can send you up to the pyre though. Which does mean that you, you're not living. You're almost living. You're the morsel maid, so I'm gonna leave you down there. We'll get more morsels back. Only one, but did some more damage. 
So that guy, he's probably gonna make it up to the pyre. And his spikes are gonna hit us, but really, you know, I was just waiting for packed morsels, and now that we have it, we're, we're in the clear. It is annoying having to wait to get that card, admittedly. Um, but packed morsels. We'll buff you. Hey, you're gonna, you're gonna do three damage to the pyre like four times, maybe three times. Three times. So we're gonna take uh, nine damage. Not much we can do about that. Get prime You know, I can kill you with a couple of morsels. Let's start getting the train steward buffed up. We are one. He's not living yet. He's not living yet. Let's give him some life steal. He's not living yet. He's gonna live. I just need to give him more health. You need to get some more damage. I'm gonna give you Primordium. Okay, that's good. So we're gonna give you... I do, I do need Primordium to die now that I think about it. You need the health. You're still not living, huh? Oh, now you're living. Beautiful. And you're getting some kills. I, I, I'm doing these floors backwards, but this is an experiment anyways. Because I worry about placing Primordium on the same floor as the Train Steward and then not being able to... Uh, not being, or like, putting Train Steward on the top floor, putting Primordium down, getting the Train Steward to have a billion uh, Ember Drain, and then I can't play anything. That's, that's what I worry about, essentially. Maybe it's not something that I should worry about, but it is something that I worry about. Give, uh, I don't know, you more health. I mean, if I give that guy enough damage, he can just kill everything on his own, which is kind of the idea. Okay, now that floor is clear. I think the train steward is gonna be the most uh, powerful unit on this run. <laughs> Cause I mean, they, ha they also function as a tank. This guy, this guy's the sweeper, and the train steward is the the annihilator. I think that's what we're gonna be building towards because he's doing 300 damage times three right now. It's absurd. I mean, the boss is not gonna be able to get through you since when our morsels eaten immediately. Uh, it's because of the morsel maid unit who is uh, in heaven right now. He has been absorbed by the train steward and the shadow eater, but he lives with us, through us. And this train steward is now uh, broken. I'm just having a fun time clicking and dragging on, dragging on the morsels, really. <laughs> I'm like, hell yeah, give me more. Yeah, I should have used the damage shield. Whatever. Does it, like, does it, does it, does it really matter? It doesn't matter. In fact, if it doesn't matter, hit end turn. Bunk, bunk, bunk. Cannibalize is okay. Because we can kill a train steward. But. Yeah, I, I kind of like Cannibalize to kill a Train Steward to get some morsels. And they're good morsels, too. As for this, no thank you. We do not need to add more cards. We're, in fact, we're probably just going to go straight for removal right now. Removal and duplication to get some more um, morsel generators. It's the most important thing. Remove. If we got Plinks that aren't doing anything, we will remove them. But let's see what we get from tr Trinkets. Add a morsel every turn, please. No. Friendly units enter with lifesteal too. That doesn't matter. It, 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 you can put that on your champion and get lifesteal on your minions, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna do so much damage anyways that it, it's pointless. <laughs> Cards gain magic power, days. None of that matters. Double stack. Doesn't matter. Magic power. In theory, could matter on a plink. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
So now we have all Plinks doing at least 10 damage. And then we will remove... I hate to say it, I think we just remove Prismal Dust because it's just... It's not necessary! Remove Bounding Echoes. I can't even afford another removal. I spent just a little bit too much money, but we can remove Echo Infusion. No, I, I would like to put that on the champ. Ah, oh, we don't need to put that on the champion. It doesn't freaking matter. We do so much damage anyways. But we don't need engine upgrade. Ambient charge could let us draw morsels. Hosting kin. I think I'm gonna remove a prismal dust. We, we just don't need it. I I'm never playing it. Duplication, packed morsel. I could duplicate the card that allows me to keep playing my morsels, but that's less important than actually getting the morsels out to begin with. And then here, I mean, we have the money. Shoulda, shoulda maybe removed one more card instead of buying an upgrade, but like, in theory, we understand how to play this now, and I don't think we're gonna lose. <laughs> so, this is a good opening turn. We don't have, we don't have morsels in hand, but, we can still play Shadow Eater and Primordium. We can hold this over. We can dump it and then, you know, we can make sure that you die when you move up. Actually, you're dead already, so we can just play you, damage shield you, end turn, and then hope that we draw Pack Morsels. And now that we have Pack Morsels, uh, you're gonna die, so it's all good. So we'll start with Plink. And we'll Echo Infusion the Champion. And we have two Morsels in the in the pile. Let's get some more Morsels added to the pile. In fact, with uh, the energy that we have, I think we could get some more morsels in the pile, but I'd rather cannibalize a morsel to get better quality morsels in, in the chain, you know? So I think what we're gonna do is just this. Lord. And Primordium still has 30 HP, Marco the Champion only applies once, but they still have 20 health because we played the uh, Echo Infusion on them. So they're a plus 20, plus 20 every time I play a single morsel. I mean, we've seen Morsel made and how quickly he can get buffed up. This is even more absurd on top of that. The only difference between this and that last run that we had, um, all that Morsel made action was that um, we are currently unable to get multi-strike on this guy, but with the ability to do 10 damage per Morsel, I feel like it's, it's okay. I don't know why this might be necessary, but let's get the uh, infusion going on up there. I don't think it is, but maybe I want to echo extract up there or something. So you would have to think that at a 500-500, we're probably okay to just hit the end turn button for, you know, eight times. But, you might as well keep going. Draw three and apply consume to draw on spells. I don't really care. I wouldn't mind drawing the uh, other unit that I want to play, though. <laughs> He's got to go out at some point. All right, let's draw and consume. We got a hosting kin and the train steward. Well, you can you can go out. That can just go out there to just do damage, I guess, and then we'll keep gorging. Keep gorging. Keep gorging. I can't kill you. You're gonna make it up a floor. Almost killed you. If only we had trample. Anyways, you're taking no damage. Oh, there's cannibalize. So I want good morsels in the in the rotation. This gets some pretty good morsels into the rotation. It is kinda hard for me to 
play the morsels, though. Because we have eight morsels in the queue, so I actually do need to get rid of one more card. Actually, we won't be able to get the other wretch. Yeah, we won't be able to get the other wretch, but that's, you know, still fine. Not like, oh, I can't play Primordium there. Well, you know what, hold on. Non-Morsel Unit Rally. Did it give him a plus three? I was not, I thought it was gonna give me like days or something. <laughs> I was not paying enough attention. I think it's, I think he's, he's a champion, not a Morsel. So non-Morsel would apply to him, I believe. I mean, at this point, now we'll do it. Just to get rid of another card, I suppose. Now that now that we've gotten the morsel generators out there, we have too many morsel generation cards. It's a it's a tough catch twenty two to live in. But we did get the wretch back. Primordium can't fit there because I screwed it up. <laughs> I just I just want to see how high the numbers can go, you know? I'm all in it for the numbers. <gasps> Wretch. <laughs> it's an absurdly good champion with Wretch. Like, Wretch plus Primordium Exile Champion is just completely and utterly broken. And you gotta admit that these Morsel Maids... Oh, oh no, you can't go more than 999. You gotta admit with these Morsel Maid... Uh, meldings and whatnot, you can get some pretty, pretty broken combinations. So, what do we got here? Play this, play this. And uh, we're not gonna get the wretch card back, unfortunately. It seems to be happening more and more lately. I keep screwing it up. Anyways, I think if we just keep playing morsels up here, we'll be able to kill that unit when they move up. Uh, let's draw and consume even more cards. Nah. Final wave! Are you dying? You're dying. Of course you are dying. I kill everything in one hit except for the champion. Or boss, rather. Alright, well, uh, that was an interesting... Uh, fight. <laughs> now let's do the same thing! But better now. Just a little bit better. It all depends on what we draw, but I guess we're guaranteed to draw the two units that we need, huh? And we got a Plink. If the Plink gets one kill... In fact, to, to guarantee the Plink kill, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ascend you to the top. I'm gonna Plink kill you up here. We guarantee a Morsel and then we can retch it back and get Primordium out on this turn immediately. Now I'm not gonna buff them, instead I'm gonna play this up here, but you get the Magma Morsel back. You, you, you can retch back immediately to get Primordium and another Magma Morsel, and that's a pretty good turn one. You kill all of the units on the bottom floor in turn one and you make a 200-200 unit. Now he doesn't really have any sort of, uh... One, two, three, I gotta play a card. He doesn't really have any sort of... That's a nice little sound effect, I never really realized that before. Uh, he doesn't really have any sort of multi-strike or any nonsense like that, but he's still a good unit to have. Hey, Darnunu, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Have you seen this run that I have? <laughs> it's a pretty good one. Dude, I can't believe you're gonna take 400 damage and you have 10 health. You kidding me? I hate you. I did hear a caca. 
Okay, train steward, you're gonna go up here. We're gonna put you here. You can go, uh, you can go here. There's room enough for Primordium now, although we might stack up Ember Drain in an awkward fashion, but I think we're okay with that. A E.G., we're not gonna play anything up there at this point. Okay, so now we're at a point where I can't really kill these units as they make it up. It's probably in our best interest to start stacking up uh, damage morsels on the top floor. Health could maybe still go on the, on the bottom, though. But damage morsels might want to go on the top. Oh, and now that we've played a morsel for Ember Drain, we can even play Primordium up here now, because Primordium's not going to have Ember Drain. And so now, by playing just a couple of morsels, now he's doing 123 times 3, which is more than enough to deal with these guys. Very good, very good. <laughs> God, this is such a, a cool deck and a cool way of playing this. This is absurd and I love it. Plink, plink. I don't want these to kill anything, I just want to dump them. Now, I would like to get Echo Infusion for Primordium. We're gonna start with the Wretch. See what we draw. We did get Echo Infusion. So, Primordium, we're gonna start... I think we're gonna start up here. That gets rid of the Ember Drain. If you don't do that, you're gonna have no Ember for the rest of the run. Uh, then we're gonna play Primordium. Then we're gonna buff... Pri I can't extract. Well, I can. It's a little unideal. <laughs> Very unideal. But we'll do that and give you some... Some frickin' HP, we'll give you some more frickin' HP. Yeah, I screwed it up slightly. We need to retch up here. And I'm not gonna play Primordium up there now, I'm just gonna play you down here. Then get the HP up, there you go, there you go. Now you're dead. Let's make sure you gorge in this immediate turn here. Now everything's dying, the boss is dying. You're a frickin' boss and you're dying! And we're also doing 700 damage on the top floor with a train steward. Never seen such a strong train steward. You gotta admit, advanced prototype came in handy. So, we have Cannibalize. Cannibalize was just here to allow us morsels. We don't need it anymore. We really do not need it anymore. Weirdly enough, I think you still do this to buff the damage of the top floor. So that we do more damage to this guy, because not too many units are making it up at this point. I mean, I think, I think we should just keep buffing up here. Well, no, we should put health at the bottom, damage at the top. Bam, 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 bam. So, dump some cards. Draw three, apply consume. I wouldn't mind consuming the plink. Ye yeah, this'll work. Because we can get rid of another card out of the deck and then we'll retch. You play, a, play an attack morsel, then primordium. I don't think I can kill you on this turn, but you're gonna die next turn, I think. <laughs> this train steward is just unbelievably strong. I should also make sure that we're able to sweep enough down here to kill, like, the Clip Defender and whatnot. But I'm not sure we'll, we'll, we'll be able to get them. Yeah, he's gonna... So we're gonna do 700 damage to a unit that has 100 health. Not ideal. <laughs> but, you know what? You're gonna get the job done anyways. You're good. You're a good train steward. Who's a good little train steward? Could you use Cannibalize to remove unwanted morsels from the Eaton Pool by killing them instead? instead? That is true. I could do that. But, 
I I ask you whether or not it should matter. And I think the answer is no. Which is not that I shouldn't be doing it, because that's a very good point. You could just like, if you don't want damage shield, cannibalize the morsel, it won't go into the cons into the eat pile, it'll go into the consume pile, and you'll get three better morsels out of it. But I think that's too many morsels. Five morsels is like the ideal number to have in the eaten pile. Any more than that and you start to get into problems. And I'd rather not get into problems. Because if you have too many morsels, you won't be able to get the Primordium out every single turn. But yeah, with five, with five and the amount of card draw I have, I can always get it out. Hey, Lonely's Troll, thank you for the resub for seven months. Hi, they say. Well, hello. Oh, I got the kill. <laughs> one one uh, ten damage spell was enough to get the kill, apparently. All right, I mean, that was a completely broken run, but I'm I'm loving Morsel Maid. Morsel Maid, to me, feels like it might be an instant win card. You're, you're guaranteed to get it at or before the fourth ring, because after you fight the, the, the first major boss, which will be three, after you fight that first major boss, you don't get any more banner units. So if you get it at that point or before, you can build around it with whatever you want. You don't have to have Wretch, you can still just play Morsels around the uh, the unit, but give him Multi-Strike or just let him tank up. It's uh, it's a lot of fun, and it's an absurdly, absurdly, absurdly broken card, especially when you put it in something else. But we had a Shadow Eater that was just wiping entire floors, and a Train Steward. Wait, how, how come it says gain multi-strike one? Oh, because it doesn't have the benefit of advanced prototype. Uh, we had a Train Steward that was just kind of absurdly incredible. What a what a weird run, but also wretch with holdover, spell chain, and intrinsic, and it costs zero, is just absurdly broken with the Primordium Alternative Champion, because you can keep bringing it back every single time. Good run! For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when to go live, support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Monster Train.